Good day, good day everyone. Good day followers, good day subscribers. If you've not subscribed, hit that button now. Today I'm going to make you a delicious sweet bread. I've got one kilo of strong flour and I've got 600 ml of water and milk 100 grams of butter I'm going to crumble that in with 100 ml of olive oil I'll put the dry ones in later this is 200 grams of sugar on one side and I've got two chassis of yeast That's the easy bake yeast. As you may know, I always put my yeast directly into my mixture. If it's fresh yeast, then you have to soak it in, a, in warm water. So I need a pinch of salt as well. The thing is, yeast goes well with sugar, but not with salt. So we're going to crumble all the butter with the flour. Inch of salt to one side, the olive oil, 100 ml. and 600 ml of water and milk. You can either use water or milk or both, whatever you've got, you can use it for it. I've got my two trays greased and dusted with flour ready to go. Today I'm using a bigger, a bigger mold. When it forms, then you can get it on the, the surface. Now I'm going to knead it for about 10 minutes until it's properly, properly kneaded. Until the dough is smooth. It will take 10, 10 minutes of good kneading. If you've got your machine, well and good. I just like the feel of it. It's smooth now. I've been on it for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to leave it to rise for an hour. I've got my bowl, flour, flour on top. It's been one hour, 15 minutes. So now I'm going to knock it back down get the air the air out of it so this this one i've got two things i want to divide it into two i'm going to weigh weigh it up after divide it into two then each one into eight eight pieces same sizes i was saying the last time if you're using the easy yeast you don't need to prove it twice. You can do it once and it's all right. But if you're using the dry yeast, you can do it two ways as well. Soak it in the, in the warm, lukewarm water for it to form a foam on top before you put it in the, in the mixture. I've got two kilos. So each one, I'm going to divide it. That's 500. So that's four. 
I want to divide that two into four. Each ball should be 125. Here now I've divided it into two lots. I've got 16, 16 balls. So I'm going to roll them, roll them all. So I'm going to put them I'm going to put it in like that for it to rise. Yeah, that's the idea. So I'm going to leave it to rise like that. We're just going to cover it up and leave it to rise for another hour. Here, it's been one hour. It has doubled its size now. I'm just going to brush it lightly with milk. Has proved very well. You can see some are bigger than some, but it's all alright. So the oven too is heated. I'm going to cook it at what 175, 180 for 20, 25 minutes. That's very lovely, lovely. It's been there for 22 minutes. I'm just going to brush it now with some butter, just to give it a glaze. Lovely. Wow. Should leave it for five minutes before taking it out, but it's alright. 